let's take a look at how to create ad groups in Google Ads. Now, I do have a campaign selected already, so I'm under Campaigns, and then we'll have this drop down here. I have selected a campaign and then went to Ad Groups. That way we can see the different ad groups for this specific campaign. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do this. One way is, let's say we have an ad group that we're already using. We can click this checkbox, click Edit, click Copy, close this checkbox thing here, and paste. So that would basically just duplicate this existing ad group, and then we can make changes to it. That's one way to do it. Or we can just click this plus button right here. It's going to pop open a page where we can create an ad group. We'll want to give it a name, so maybe it's uh, Closet Companies. And then we'll want to add in some keywords. Now, if you just type in like Closet Companies like that, that's going to be a broad match keyword that's going to allow you to have your ad show up when people search all sorts of random keywords. I would recommend using either Phrase Match or Exact Match to start with even though Google's going to recommend you use broad match. Um, and so if you put parentheses around it, that's going to be phrase match. If you put brackets around it, that's going to be exact match. Basically what those do is it narrows the targeting down so that it's people searching for something very closely related to the keyword that you put in here, which is normally why you put the keyword in because you want it to, sh you know, you want your ads to show up when people search for this keyword or something very similar. Right, like closet company or closet companies, the plural and the singular versions, right? So that will work through exact match like this. Of course, we can add in a whole, whole slew of keywords, but it's recommended that you have about 25 keywords or less in each ad group. You want them to be very congruent. So if, you know, uh, closet companies would also like closet contractors these are very similar in nature right it's people that are looking for companies that provide closet services uh, we could also do like custom closet contractors something like that custom closet contractors so now we have a set of keywords here that are very closely related and what that's going to allow us to do is create ads that are very congruent with what people are searching for so if we click Save and Continue here, it's actually going to pull in some ads that we've already set up. So it's pulling in some ad copy. Of course, we want to add in our URL here where we want to send people to. So this would probably be like maybe our homepage in this case because we're just advertising for closet companies and we would be a closet company in this case, right? So just put the um, homepage of the website uh, we can add display paths if we want, so like closet contractor or something like that. It's going to give us some extra keywords that show up in the ads here. And then we want to have a number of headlines up to 15. I would recommend trying to use all 15 if possible. There is the ability to pin some of these so you can see that the first headline in our ads is always going to be either this headline or this headline. We do that because we want the first thing people to see we want it to be something like, you know, related to what they're searching for. So <clears throat> this is from a different ad camp, an ad group. So it'd be like Phoenix Closet Company or uh, Closet Contractor in Phoenix. It's a little too long. We could just remove AZ at the end here, but. Now, <clears throat> based on those keywords we entered in, when somebody's looking for a closet contractor in Phoenix, they're going to see right at the very beginning of our ad that it's talking about the exact thing that they're searching for, which makes them feel like they found what they're looking for. And then when they click on that ad of yours, it's going to take them to your page where you're talking about like, hey, we do closets. And they're like, oh, I'm finding what I'm looking for. And so the user experience is going to be really... Um, positive and that's going to help improve the performance of your ads because Google really likes it when you provide a good user experience. That way people keep coming back to the platform and clicking on more ads and they make more money, right? 
pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to want to have, I, I have other videos on my channel that go through how to come up with headlines and descriptions and everything, but add in some headlines. I would recommend up to 15, like try to get all 15 or at least close to 15, as well as the descriptions here. You can also pin these if you want to have them in a specific order. And then you, know, you can add some of this other stuff like site links. It's kind of not 100% necessary. It's good practice. Uh, but then you can click Save and Continue here. And then from here, we can um, edit the ad, delete it. You know, it's basically going to allow us to see kind of what's going on with the ad that we've set up here, the keywords that we're targeting. And then we can just click Save and Continue. And now we have our new ad group here. Of course, we can open this up and just by clicking on it right here. So we've selected the ad group. Now we can look at the ad that we created. And it says it's pending under review. Of course, we can edit it, make adjustments, do whatever we need to do. So that's basically it. Now we've created this ad group with this new ad that's more targeted towards the set of keywords that we set up and you know we can let it run and see how it performs from there look if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with google ads anymore <laughs> then you can always reach out to me uh, my company is missoula seo geek i'll leave a link to my website down below but we do manage google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's gonna explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.